Nothing like cleaning shit off the bottom of your shoe the morning of your meet. Good vibes, good vibes. Today's the day. Looking forward to getting out there. Perfect conditions. Perfect. Really excited. Okay, I'm here now. Uh, just dropped Carol off at the front gate so she didn't have to walk. Walking over there, she starts in about two hours, so yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, she's looking good, feeling good. Um, so now we are just gonna wait until then. Um, I'm gonna film some of her warm up, and yeah, so I'll see you guys at the competition. Enjoy. So just hanging out until uh, Carol starts. Conditions are like perfect, perfect tailwind, all legal, warm out. It's gonna be a good day. London now obviously thank God it was a really long week um, obviously we went to Ottawa super early for the deck and then when things didn't go as planned there it was just a really long week of like anticipation and you know it was hard because I also knew that Taylor was obviously like putting on a brave face for me and trying to keep me like in a positive headspace and excited to compete but it was definitely like a bummer when everything went down with him. Um, so not like the most ideal circumstances leading up, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. I still don't really know how I feel about this weekend. Uh, I definitely felt ready to jump further. So I was a little bit disappointed and I think that's okay. What I was thinking about this this morning is that when I jumped 13.53 at nationals last year, I was effing pumped. I was so excited and it was like the best thing ever and I was so psyched. And I only jumped, I guess, nine centimeters less than that this year, but I don't f even feel kind of happy about it. So, you know, as, as Drake once said, old highs, new lows. I have to double check that. False or not, I, I know that I did have a couple jumps in that competition that were over 13.50. So I'm happy to be getting some consistency at the mid-13s because, um, you know, I think it's, it's important to find consistency at certain marks before you can expect kind of a breakthrough with, with a bigger jump. So if, when I want to get to 14, I got to get consistent in the mid-13s first. That's kind of how I see it and I think I'm on my way. 
I'm very excited uh, that by virtue of my win at nationals, I have qualified uh, to represent Canada at NACAC in Toronto um, in mid-August. Um, so, you know, as always, uh, grateful for the opportunity to represent Canada and very, very, very excited for the opportunity to jump against um, some 14 meter girls. It's a very strong year. Uh, for triple jump in this region of the world, um, the Americans are on fire, the Jamaicans are on fire, um, so it should be good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm glad that you know my season is going a little bit longer than it usually would because um, obviously I had that late start this year. It was definitely um, tough coming off of a huge year last year with so much momentum. And then, you know, instantly being halted with this injury that, that put me out at the beginning of the year. Um, momentum in the sport is everything. It's everything. Um, and I came off of last year, you know, with that 1383 jump, like knowing with certainty that this season I was going to jump 14 meters, I was going to break the Canadian record, and that the Olympic standard of 1410 was definitely in the realm of possibility. But then when I was out for three months, um, you know, you, you kind of lose sight of that. Um, and that was really hard because it took me so many years to get that momentum and get to that point where I actually thought those numbers were possible. Um, so, you know, like I said on social media, um, every week this season, I'm getting my confidence back. I'm getting healthier and I do hope to um, you know, be able to finish this season feeling like I have that momentum back, uh, and you know that next year can be everything that I wanted this year to be. Um, so I definitely would like to go out with a bang. So I'm just gonna keep uh, keep working away at it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support throughout the season. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Um, now that Taylor's living the NARP life and he doesn't really have practices to show you guys, I'll try to step my game up and bring the camera to some practices. All right, we will see you later, bye.